And the more you become aware of yourself, the more you will begin to understand how the energies in your particular chart are working. Hi, I'm Catherine Goshen, a professional astrologer from the village of Nyack in New York State, and I'm passionate about in-depth astrology and getting to the heart of the matter. I wondered how many of you actually go back in time and reflect on how your life has been in the past month, the past year, the past two years, and whether any of the astrology that you've listened to or read about or interacted with an astrologer with has been of help to you. The human condition seems to be that we are constantly looking backwards or forwards. And if we are able to look backwards and reflect and then use that knowledge to move forward with greater positivity, it can be of great benefit to us. But if we don't reflect and we continue to for example, take advice on things when those things are not really working, we might need to take a minute to pause and reflect on how we are using the past to inform our present. What I'd like to suggest is that there is a lot of astrology which can put an idea into one's mind and then this becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So this is why, for example, doing the charts of babies and small children is such a great responsibility and should not be undertaken lightly. And it's also why when we do listen to forecasts, we have to be very aware of what we are taking in and what we are going to do with that information. I've been pondering a lot lately on Mercury and its role in the chart, both the natal chart and in transits, you know, what is going on right now. And we're living in this era of an information overload. And I'm not sure if you feel the same way as I do, but there is a constant overabundance of information. And the challenge becomes to sort out what we wish to take from that, how much we want to absorb it, and really, is it a worthy source? The secret is, what is of use to you? Do you reflect on the past and see if the information you received has been helpful? The second thing that humans tend to do is live in the future. And I notice a little bit of a worrying trend with astrology where people are predicting doom and gloom or people are using astrology as a kind of hopeful panacea to, um, you know, maybe the world will be a better place tomorrow and the danger that both those extremes can bring about because we are not focused on our lives today. I call on you to reflect that there is a way to have a strong sense of self and a secure self on a daily basis. And in order to do this, it requires that you stand in the center of your chart symbolically and you see all the moving planets, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, you see them and you observe the energies. Yes, there is an influence, but we are not powerless under the influence of, of the planets. They are working more like an outpicturing or a symbolic, energetic 
manifestation of consciousness on earth. And the more you become aware of yourself, the more you will begin to understand how the energies in your particular chart are working. Do you have a sense of yourself in your day? And if there was no news to read about, no social media to interact with, no astrology or weather forecasts, what remains of your relationship to yourself? And how is the stuff that you take into yourself affecting the outcome of your, your day, your week, your life? So the final thing I want to say today is we have Neptune standing virtually still in the sky at the moment as it appears from Earth. This is not a literal Neptune station, it's as Neptune appears from Earth because the astrology we practice is from the perspective of Earth. So that is a caution to all of us that Neptunian themes are emphasized. The beauty of things for sure, art, music, drama, spirituality, soul food, all the things that we crave. At the same time, however, Neptune is always a double-edged sword. There can be a lot of delusion, a lot of false glamour, and a lot of being swept up in movements or in ideas or in political causes or things without really first rooting ourselves. Keep your mission and your integrity very clear and understand that we are living in incredible times. You have the power to use whatever your personal astrology is to uplift yourself. Let no one or nobody tell you that it's going to be a good or a bad day. So that's definitely enough food for thought and in-depth astrology for one day. Take care and I'll see you next time.